Speaking of, don't forget to set those clocks ahead this weekend for daylight saving time. You're going to lose an hour, and it can be a tough adjustment mm -hmm. not only for us adults, but also for the yeah. little ones. I spoke to a pediatric sleep expert about the best way to make the transition. Springing forward for daylight savings is a hard transition. It's that time of year again. Clocks spring forward one hour. That means you'll lose an hour of sleep come 2 a.m. Sunday. We're actually asking our bodies to do everything one hour earlier than we would otherwise. Dr. Sujay Consagra is a pediatric sleep specialist with Duke Health. He says the time change can be a tough transition for kids, but there are ways parents can prepare for the one hour shift. You don't have to wait until Sunday night to try to move everything, you know, by that one hour. So about three days leading up to daylight savings, try to get to bed about 15 minutes earlier and try to wake up about 15 minutes earlier than the night before. That way you're already ready to make that transition when daylight savings arrives. Kids should also avoid light at night. Dr. Consagra says 30 minutes before bed, dim the lights, particularly from screens and devices. Instead, make sure your kids get a lot of bright light in the morning when they wake up. Because bright light first thing in the morning helps adjust our body clock in the direction we're trying to move. Makes you want to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier naturally. Dr. Consagra says the one hour difference can be tough on teenagers too because they yeah. naturally just want to go to bed late and wake up late. I can only imagine. We yeah. were saying it doesn't really bother us too much. No, it doesn't bother it, me. I mean, not too bad because it, because it happens on the weekends right. and I don't work weekends, so it's just a little bit easier. Bed. Yeah. All right. Well, now we want to hear from you on the topic of daylight saving time. Are you in favor of staying on daylight saving time? Right now, 82% of you saying yes, 18% say no. There is a push by some lawmakers to end the practice. And to vote, just head over to the CBS 17 News app, click on, click on the menu in the upper left corner, and select CBS 17 Vote.